Hello, welcome back to Blender CC Lab Noding. So let's continue with our explorations of Blender 3.4 geometry nodes. Um, so shortest edge pass. Okay, I have another example like the simplest geometry node setup that's dealing with a uh, shortest edge pass. Okay, I have this setup, um, which is actually a simplified version of this uh, example by Everton Snyder. So you can see the shortest path can kind of um, allowing you to get like a you can select like a single point or multiple points and then you can like generate a path based on that so based on that um, calculations okay so this is like I said this is a simplified version remember in the previous episode I talked about um edge pass to curve so it can connect any vertices with um every other uh, vertices this time we use this uh algorithm shortest edge path to get kind of like a find a connections from a points to the closest edges and there's this um, edge cause which is I don't exactly know what this one does however let's just leave it random value between 0 and 1 as the for the probability this one is using the boolean at the moment um, instead of random value I was thinking maybe we can use an index and then pick pick up points so this time um, it seems to be more interesting because we can pick like for example if we pick this index value of zero it's selecting Susan eyes and it's kind of try to find shortest edge paths from that point to outside until it stuck. So if we increase the value until we find okay. There's this value, so it's selecting a single index and it's growing. Kind of growing and find the closest edges. I think that's what it's doing anyway. And from this result, uh, we can try, okay, convert this curve to mesh once again, duplicate this, apply, and we can try to see if this is useful for our maze generations. Maybe we need to merge by distance. First of all, okay, it's removing a lot of vertices. And then, maze. I'm using the maze mesh algorithm once again. This time it might take longer. Okay, it's finding the result. So this is the resulting mesh that we can then turn into uh, pipe so mesh the curve curve to mesh and then circle I like this type of uh, procedural generations I've been doing this for a while I Sometimes I use Fercho. Um, okay, the thing with this guy, I think if we use merge by distance connected, we actually get inter kind of like interesting result. So it's connecting, it makes this kind of path that's, and you can randomize, I believe you can randomize the seed just to get a different result. Yeah, see? This 
edge cost thing is uh, pretty interesting. It's comparing the cost of connections between each uh, and every points, I believe. But anyhow, yeah, this guy, even without the maze tools, we can just uh, convert it into interesting pipe. I call it pipe. It could be anything. So as a result, we have this pretty cool looking um, topology. Um, and this can be used to create, uh, maybe to create mask or some kind of, uh, if you have injured injury, for example, and you want to generate kind of like a cover for your injury and you can use this design I think it's pretty cool kind of like a wire and each wire is actually connected with each other because we are we are using this merge by distance connected so simple 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 algorithm but it's really powerful yeah in the past I did this using Svertchok add-on it still works that way um, but now we have geometry nodes and it's really fast to do this so give it a try play around with this random as well look it's really interesting okay hopefully you find this useful so next time I'll try to do something similar to this uh, design or this kind of animations it's like a uh, electricity because it's it's like a nerve uh, system actually. If you can actually generate points inside the volume, so you can create like a exactly like a nerve or like a plant growing. You know, with the Everton example, there's uh, you can try recreate the design. The trim curve might be interesting to try. So you can trim. The curve and animate animate them growing uh, maybe not maybe this way oh well you have to experiment with this anyhow that's my second uh, study on this shortest edge path and edge path to curve hopefully this video is useful thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time thank you bye